Welcome to another video. Alrighty guys, so uh, it is right now, currently Saturday morning, I'm actually going to do a podcast with Mike from Fitness Feeding Podcast, who's got a great podcast series up. If I can find the link to it, guys, I'm going to put it in the description of the video. So I'm going to hop on this podcast and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Yeah, let's do it. Totally, totally. Well, thanks for having me on, Mike. Um, I am known as Eric the Electric. Other than that, I pretty much, um, I pretty much got started. Um, I grew up very, very overweight. I, at 15, I was obese. Uh, my doctor said those words to me. And so I, I went on this rapid weight loss phase. And so I was um, already kind of into that dieting mindset when I was really, really young. I was around 15. And so I was used to weighing out my food and uh, counting calories and all this stuff when I was really, really young. <laughs> Sassy. Oh, snap. Get him. Get him. The next day. Oh my goodness, guys, so, whew, gosh, I just look terrible right now, it's okay. Uh, so I just got back home from the gym, everybody, and uh, I wanted to show you guys what I got at the store. My hamstrings are just, my hamstrings are back there, Eric. Okay. My hamstrings are just absolutely fried after today. But more importantly, I do have groceries, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got right now. So what do we have here, folks? Uh, well, first things first, everybody, cinnamon pecan. Yes, you can't go wrong with this shit at all. So, Special K, this is my favorite Special K cereal to get. Uh, cinnamon pecan, and then they have like a yogurt one, which is really good, and then the just unflavored Special K cereal. It's like the flakes, delicious. Uh, moving forward, pretzels, because we're resuming um, pretzel consumption very soon, so we got some pretzels right there, and then mini pretzels are the best. And then, of course, we had to get some PB right there, so we put that upside down. And then, fairy teriyaki. This is like, if you ever see me grill chicken, guys, this is what I use to grill the chicken with, or just used to put on my chicken. This stuff is amazing. Uh, I get less sodium just because, I mean, not really like the extra 50. You guys can even see that. There's like a shit ton of sodium in here. There's like 430 milligrams, even in this. Uh, but it's delicious, guys. And if you ever get this at the store, everybody, 
Fun fact, the sesame seeds that they put in here, if these are, these are sesame seeds, yeah. What you want to do is, like, fucking shake this thing like crazy, because it, like, disperses the sesame seeds and makes it extra amazing. Just little things, guys, little things. <laughs> Next, we have some vegetables, frozen vegetables, and then some lettuce, or lechuga in my native tongue. And then I am going to be trying these out tonight. I've never, I, I've had a lot of the corn products, but... These just, um, I mean, they look pretty good. I've had the chicken, I've had, uh, like, the turkey that they make, and I've never tried the meatless ground, so I'm going to try that tonight. And then, cashew milk right there. Whoa. I don't want that to fall over. Some baking cocoa and some Brussels sprouts. Oh, and you guys thought it was over. We have the goodie bag right here, folks. All right, ready for this? Boom. All right, so in this bag right here, everybody, we have pumpkin spice. Special K. Now, Special K, I've been doing so much Special K lately, guys. I wanted to get on this. This is a limited edition flavor. I hate pumpkin, but I'm giving this... I'm having some hope because it has, like, little uh, clusters in it, so I'm thinking it might be good. Next. Ooh, ready? 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 Boom! That was fail. Hold on. Let's do that one more time. All right. Ready, 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 ready? Yeah! Cookie butter Oreos, guys. These are brand new. Brand new. Limited edition. Brand new. Did I say brand new? Let me say it one more time. Brand new Oreos, guys. Cookie butter. I'm going to be giving these a shot tonight. Uh, next, we have some frozen strawberries right there. And guess what I haven't had in forever? Yeah, it's a head of cabbage, but you guys will see in just a little bit what I make with that. And then oatmeal right there. Last but not least, some yogurt. That is what we got at the store, guys. I'll see you in the next part of the video. Moments later. It's about that time. How could we forget? Didn't work out too well. That's much better. Just forget that I did that. Everyone, we have a lot of sweetness going on right now. We have pumpkin spice, special case cereal, and we also have cookie butter Oreos. This is a very special review. I'm very excited. We are ready to get our white girl on with some pumpkin spice, special K, and some cookie butter Oreos. Let me tell you guys, I've been watching on this pumpkin spice cereal and it is absolutely, uh, let me just say, it's very surprising. What am I saying? I should just show you guys. The pumpkin spice flakes are, they're not actually horribly overpowering with pumpkin spice, which is why I'm eating these. You guys know I can't usually do anything pumpkin. Don't get me wrong. Still pretty strong, but the delicious mix-ins that this cereal has, which are like little like cluster things are just absolutely amazing. This is what I know all you guys tuned in for, the cookie butter Oreos. So let's try these out. I have no idea why these are always so hard to freaking open, but they are. Wow. And this is the first official taste test for the cookie butter Oreos. Wow. I'm actually really, I'm, I'm blown away right now. Uh, let me just say that if you guys like cookie butter, you are not going to be in for a, I guess, really big surprise here because these are just, this is cookie butter galore. Look at that. That is, this is literally just cookie butter on a golden Oreo pretty much. So good. This isn't really something I would go out of your way to get. Um, this cost me two, I think it was like a little less than three bucks for this. I mean, it's good, but um, it's certainly hyped up like most Oreo, new Oreo flavors are at least. Don't even get me started on the Swedish Fish Oreos. It came out like a year ago. Overall rating on these is solid. It's gonna be a seven and a half out of 10. Well, ride is all done for the day. I am, uh, yeah. Let's just say uh, a little peached after that ride. I should be doing some maintenance on my bike right now and I haven't done it in like a month. I'm feeling a little bit extra lazy. moments later.
out here. Some people, and that's like we're talking about this off camera. Omar Esau, yeah. the world's strongest vegan. I actually have a hard time eating a lot of food, so this is going to be a challenge for me, which is why we got someone, uh, Eric the Electric, on in the background. I need some motivation in order to eat this. Kind of to break this down, this is your breakfast. It's something similar to what you probably would eat every day, right? <laughs> You gonna make it? You, you wanna go home? <laughs> <sighs> Omar. I, re <laughs> I respect the hustle, my man. I respect the hustle. I might need to start offering my online coaching services for other things as well. <sighs> so cute. My diet every single day, guys, is literally, it has to be this. Because Brussels sprouts, guys, are life. That's not We're doing it. Meatless grounds. Meatless grounds, because I'm recording a video at the same time that I fucking do this. I love when those Brussels sprouts come out perfectly. I mean, I shouldn't even know the name of these because apparently I never eat vegetables, so I'm just gonna laugh and uh, eat these delicious things. I am uh, still kind of pissed about not hitting 4.30 today. 4.35, I should say. Shit happens. Oh, these meatless grounds. We gotta try these out with some teriyaki sauce, too. Literally just tastes like they took the meatless beef that I made two nights ago and um, ground it up. Still good, but I like my Brussels sprouts so much better. That's a lot of cocoa. Woo! Damn! This shake. It smells like chocolate strawberry goodness. Do you guys remember when uh, I went to go to uh, Vegas and I uh, went to go to Fat Burger, film with Dame Drops, which is really fucking cool. The video was just produced, so I'm actually excited to see how it came out. Before our two challengers go head to head, let's first watch the much anticipated showdown between two of the internet's greatest eaters, Eric Lamkin. I actually said my name. That's actually really funny. It's not Eric. The, it's it's Eric. Eric the Electric. Kinda. Of. How do you feel going into this match? Don't get me wrong. I'm hungry for a fat burger. But I'm starving for victory. <laughs> Holy smokes! I just got one question though, are you gonna eat the rest of that? Handle it. Alright, thank you. Killed it. All right, guys, I know what you're thinking. Eric, why are you eating cookie butter Oreos at 11 o'clock at night? Guys, these things are just so good. I, I have to improve my overall rating. These are better than an eight and a half out of 10. I mean, if you literally just look at the cookie butter filling in the middle of this. Guys, it's just. If only I had some milk right now. It'd be even more epic. Well, it is almost bedtime, hold on. Much better. Two fills left.
Well guys, it's about that time in the video where I say goodbye and also uh, let you guys know what's coming up. I do want to say first and foremost that human perception is always just baffled, amused, and just blown me away. Well, actually in this case, the lack of human perception. I've been getting a lot of uh, comments, a lot of people calling me skinny, frail, skinny fat, uh, fat in general, all this stuff. Man guys, over the past few months really, I have worked my ass off. I have eaten as much as I possibly can, doing food challenges, bulking up, gaining weight, doing all this stuff. And it's always amazing to see how things slide to the uh, other side of the spectrum in literally just a few months. I was actually looking back on old videos. I found my old deadlift videos, my old squat videos, uh, my old overhead press videos, all these old videos of me and, and almost pretty much, in my opinion, seemingly an identical body. I don't weigh myself or anything like that. Maybe I've gained about 10, 20, maybe even 30 pounds, but the fact of the matter is guys, I feel a lot stronger and that's more motivating than ever. A lot of people use what they see on social media, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, or they're just reading a fucking muscle and fitness magazine. They see these transformations that people make, but guys, be your own fucking transformation. That's honestly the most important thing you can do is inspire yourself, motivate yourself. No one on a cover of some magazine that's photoshopped or on an Instagram picture that's just fake should be able to motivate you. You have to be able to motivate yourself. Like right now, I was motivated as hell to uh, cure my whiteness today, and you know what? I got out on a little hike and tried tanning for the first time ever. Not really the first time ever, but well, the first time in a long time. Anyways, to those people saying and thinking that I'm fat right now, I've got some uh, bad news for you. Last year, I uh, took a little break from all the uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, all these cheat day videos that I did in the past. I didn't really do them last year just because, you know, I wasn't really focused on YouTube. I had so much on my plate with school, with work, with YouTube, with everything. I didn't know what to do, but this year uh, they're going to be making a return. That means a cheat's giving. Number two, carbs miss number two, some Halloween stuff. So let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And I hope you've enjoyed, I guess, just what I've done with these vlogs and everything. If you do, let me know down in the comments below. Follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys. And go right ahead.